Here's the pitch and it's outside and can tell Marte. And it's two and oh. Hits have left the ballpark. It's the difference. That missed somewhere. Pretty good pitch right there from Brett Anderson. I think he's curious where that one missed. And Craig Council echoing that sentiment, I think, too. That's a strike. Three and one. To left, that's going to be a base hit. Yelich going to try and cut it off. He can. It'll be extra bases for Cattell Marte. He's into second base with a leadoff double. First time the leadoff batter has been aboard for the Diamondbacks. Pitch up in the strike zone. Another hard hit ball by the Diamondbacks. Stop Adamas. Opens up with strike one. Escobar to straightaway center. Jackie Bradley Jr. there. No advance. Fouls this one off of his front leg. A good look. This one head out towards center field. Jackie Bradley Jr. on the run, nice. running out of room. It's gone for Carson Kelly. If Jackie Bradley Jr. can't get it. It must be hit well. Carson Kelly with a two run home run to cut the deficit in half. Home run number seven for Kelly. His opposing pitcher, Duplantier. But even some of the base hits, he's leaving some stuff out over the middle. Yeah, and up. And he can't afford to do that. Of course, when you're not getting that marginal low strike, I mean, that gets into a pitcher's head. And because of that, you have to get pitches up a little bit more than you'd like. And of April. Great counts. I'd like to see him get through the fifth inning. Your list. Check swing. Joe West says no very casually. This one a rocket to left center. That'll split the gap. Extra bases again for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Here comes the throw to second, not in time. I think the broadcasters got it right. It was that one pitch at the beginning of the inning that he wanted to strike on that was in the zone that he didn't get, and it just turned into this whole molehill. He just couldn't get over it. Four and a third innings. Call to the bullpen has been made. Brent Suter is coming in, and Brett Anderson with some words to say for Edwin Moscoso. Mentioned as he was coming off, he had some words. As always, the answer to why didn't the umpire just let him go is we have no idea what he said. We just don't. But also got himself tossed as he was leaving the field. And a little upset the fact that he didn't get the low strike, and one of the reasons I would imagine why he felt he had to elevate the baseball and the Diamondbacks hit him hard. Eight hits, only two runs though, as Brent Suter takes over.